Hello guys, let's simulate this circuit which Zener diode is used as a voltage regulator. The voltage source series resistance and load resistance are the parameters that play an important role when using Zener diode as a voltage regulator. So in this video we will consider these two parameters as constant and we will assume that load resistance is a variable. There are two ways to examine this circuit by changing the values of load resistance. One, you can change that manually by entering each value and then simulate the circuit. Next, you can use the dot step document to sweep across a range of values in a single simulation run. But it is very hard to do that manually. So we will use dot stepping parameters to see how Zener diode works with different values of resistor. The first step to do is defining variable for the parameter that you are going to step it and bracket it with a curly braces. The parameter that we want to step is this resistance. So right click on it and bracket it with curly braces. And it is important because it tells LT spice that R is a parameter. Click OK. The next step is inserting a dot step command to specify the steps for parameter R. To insert dot step command, click on this spice directive. In the text box, type in dot step followed by param R. Param R tells LT spice that R is a user defined variable. Next we need to specify the range of parameter R. In this case I am going to start value from 1 to 500 with increment of 10. Click OK. Once you complete it with all parameters, click on edit simulation. And in this case we need DC operating point to plot voltage regulator waveform corresponding to variable resistance R. Click OK. Now let us run the circuit and plot the output voltage waveform with respect to variable load resistance. Here X axis represents the variable load resistance and Y axis represents the change of the output voltage. When load resistance is small, voltage across Zener diode gets smaller than Vz Zener breakdown voltage. And it becomes off. And current across Zener diode will be zero, as you can notice here in the graph. This is the minimum point for load resistance that will turn on the diode. And the voltage across the load resistance will be equal to a constant breakdown Zener voltage. So here uh, R is uh, equal to about 105.5 uh, which is the minimum resistance that turn the diode on. For the 8 or 49 milliampere will be the maximum current through load resistance. If we apply a KCL at this node, then we can say that I1 equal to ID plus IR2. After the diode gets on and operating in the breakdown region, I1 will not change and that will remain constant. If ID increases, IR2 will decrease, as you can see in the graph. The negative sign for Zener diode current is because of its reverse mode region. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.